Welcome to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of January 29th, 2021. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah Sinning. Digitally across the internet is Alex. Hello. How are you, Alex? I'm tired, man. You sound tired. You sound like you've had a rough day, which... It's, 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 it's not, it's, you know, it's the weekend. It's Friday. I'm, I'm home, so I'm like... I want to get everything done today so I don't have to do anything this weekend so mm. I can play Sekiro. You have, you have a full free weekend. Mm-hmm. That's good. Uh, yeah, there's so nothing better really than a free weekend. Body, so. Like no, when you have shit. a free weekend, everything is clear from your mind that you had to do for that weekend. Like mm-hmm. you had to like do a gutter or something. You know, you had to go sweep a mm-hmm. sweep or do the Swiffer. That's mm-hmm. another one, Swiffer. I'm not a fan of the Swiffer. Yeah. It, it, it leaves the film you know hmm. you, like have you ever noticed like you do the swiffer right you get the gel okay you, yeah. th- you do it but Wait, then it's got that gel. you know not it's not gel the spray the, the spray but like it's 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 weird i mean it's just it's just like imagine you grabbing like just like uh this if like just spraying and something on the floor real quick and then rubbing it with a rag it's the same shit no because because like you don't dry it up it just dries on there yeah, that's how mopping is. You don't mm. dry up the mop. You, you kind of do, though. You kind of mm. do. You like no, you get up a lot more of it. I, f- I just think there's like a little film on the floor. Really I don't love it. I, I <laughs> look. I don't got these fancy contraptions you have. I've seen that water thing you got. The steam cleaner. I've seen that thing. You got the fancy mm. contraptions. I'm speaking like when you go, yeah, you buy. Steam cleaner thing. Yeah, you go, you buy the Swiffer stuff. You shove it into the into the very terrible stand that they give you it's like five cents probably to make that thing Mm -hmm. i put it in there you spray which i'm a huge fan of the noise but i'm not a huge fan of the film you you wipe it around you see the dirt come up which you know it is doing something i do just Mm -hmm. feel like i just a mop is just as good probably right yeah i mean as long as you have the bucket in the thing with the, uh, as long you gonna like you can't just have a muck a, bu- a mop and a bucket because then you gotta use your whole hand to like twist it to get to rinse the, the water out. You need either like the push thing or no, uh, like you, you say that to be able to rinse it out. Easier. You say you say that you have not seen these new mops. They got the mm-hmm. crank. You, you well, seen those? Okay. Those are really nice. Hey, the I've, wife has I mean, one of I those. Used, I used one. I used one that has like a little crank, but mm-hmm. the mop head is too small. Oh, see, see. I'd rather have a big mop head and just do it by hand. Oh yeah, for for sure. I, the it see the sur- the mm-hmm. surface area of a mop very important. You don't want to like sm- this big rope like correct like store mops. Oh, that that now see when I'm a fan of those, not a fan because there's two different store mops when you think about it. There's. <laughs> There's the <laughs> there's there's <laughs> there is there is the weird I don't know how how else to say this but flubber like soft material that just sits there for years and you just push dirt around with it you know exactly what I'm talking about it just it look it looks like little tendrils and it's just mop you know moving around any store will have this on hand. And then you got the good brooms, bristles on, and it's nice and wide. You do a big push, and and it's directing the dirt forward to your like destined location. You know exactly what I'm talking about. The the big, and I'm, I mean that thing is huge. Yeah. Not the like floppy. We're gonna push around the dirt, and we're pushing it into like a cre- crevice we never have to see again. Yeah. No, no, big old broom. <laughs> Daily Alex, as long as I am, this broom head, and I'm talking, it's big. All right, just and obnoxiously big, and you just push. It's it's just so much better to clean with. As long as we have the right tools, and it's efficient enough. <laughs> all right alex now unfortunately we're not a cleaning supplies podcast no we're we're a video game podcast and we come to you every single friday sometimes when we have something to give you and talk about something of substance and we have come together today 
to talk about the absolute madness that has been happening over the week over none other than GameStop. Now, if we're all being frank here for a second, Alex, Mm -hmm. this literally has nothing to do with video games. So if you're a video game podcast, it is basically out of the realm of what it is. But it doesn't. Yeah, it does. The only reason someone would talk about this is because it is with GameStop. Aside from that, it has nothing technically to do with video games. Although you could argue that the retailer is important to video games. So... You would talk about it in a video game store, but no, no, no. It's all it's all about video games. Just stay, just stay and listen to the whole episode. There you go. Yeah, it's all that. Just, just sit here, relax. I'm basically going to explain to Alex and the listener, just in case you don't know, what's going on, and why you should or should not care. How's that sound, Alex? Good. Okay. Now I want. Sh- I don't understand. Stuff. <laughs> I don't think he's doing that. I don't think you can hear me. <laughs> No, I didn't hear anything you just said, Alex. So I hope it wasn't important. I no. but I, what, what I want you to do is I want you to go. <laughs> I want you to go brew a nice cup of cocoa. I want you to sit by a nice warm fire, preferably a dog in your lap. And I want you to really relax while I do this. Now I can't do fires in the house. I don't have a chimney, mm. and my wife is allergic to to the to the smoke. I got gotcha. dog thing though i got it okay I got four of them okay so you got one out of the five things i requested good enough <laughs> now this all started on a little website known as reddit if you don't know what reddit is i'll very quickly summarize it is a social media website where you can follow a specific page for a specific reason i.e if you like cleaning you could follow reddit slash cleaning or if you liked stocks, for instance, you can follow r slash stocks. Now, <clears throat> there's a Reddit community on there called Wall Street Bets that essentially is governed around big gains and big losses in the stock market. So they'll have posts where gentlemen are, you know, gaining a lot of money in the stock market and winning a lot of money. They'll have a lot of gain uh, losses where the, you'll show off how much money you lost that week for any given stock or situation now on this specific day this was around uh last wednesday i believe um a user i guess i won't get into that yet uh essentially the community as a whole discovered that game stocks stock which is their shares of course in the company so their stock value of course, a share is given a value based on their overall, really based on imaginary numbers, but it's supposed to be based on how much money they're projected to make, how much money they're worth, et cetera, et cetera. Basically, how expensive they are as a company. It was mm-hmm. it was around 4 to $5 a few months ago. That's not a lot, of course. Big things like Google are thousands of dollars, Amazon, thousands of dollars. Apple, $1 to $200, depending on the year we're talking about. Tesla, $700, and so on and so forth. So you can get a varying idea of what things are costing. Now, GameStop, $4, nothing, right? Of course, that's not a shock to anyone because GameStop is not very profitable and is losing a lot of money. Uh, aside from COVID, they were on, obviously on a decline because digital media is becoming a thing and it's becoming more of a thing and is slowly eating away at GameStop. So this is why they were valued so low. Now, I will explain to you what a hedge fund is. A hedge fund essentially, for not spending a terribly long about this, a lot of money... Uh, from a lot of different people band together to make more money to grossly simplify that so a lot of people with a lot of money said uh, to GameStop stock they walked over there and they saw four dollars they went this is a dying company this will become even cheaper than it is now because they are dying and withering away into nothing Mm -hmm. now they do what is called buying shorts now that means i buy theoretically i haven't bought this yet so this is where it kind of gets confusing stick with me i will buy stock at the end of a let's say a week contract i sign a week contract with alex saying if gamestop stock goes below six dollars 
I uh, I will um, I want to make sure I get the verbiage right here. I will purchase the stock at the rate I think it's gonna be. No, sorry, I got that backwards. So the person you sign the contract with, it's if you're selling a short, the person agrees that it will not go down. You saying it will go down. The person agrees, well, I will buy the stock if it if I'm correct. And if you're correct, I will buy the stock and give it to you and I will be losing money because I will have to buy it at the $6 that I agreed at, whereas the other person will be gaining the stock at the $4 that they agreed at. So they're buying less stock and saving money. Now, that is a little convoluted, but essentially that contract was in effect, whereas they're going to short GameStop a lot of stocks. Now, the way this is very unique, because shorts happen all the time in the investment world. It's not a secret. Uh, the hedge funds always release their shortings for the firms and things like that for like market research. The reason this is unique is this investment company melvin capital shorted more shares of gamestop that even existed so they shorted 120 percent of the stock mm -hmm. so they shorted more stocks than even exist for the company that now that's when it gets kind of weird how is that possible how is you know all those questions because these are all technically imaginary numbers I won't get into the intricities of why is it possible he can do this, blah, blah, blah. It should probably be illegal from now on to do this because I don't know why you would agree to this anyways. This is really their fault. But they agree the shares will be 120% uh, of the market, of the shares. They go, okay. Redditors find this out on Wall Street Bets. They get upset because shorting is very predatory, especially, I mean, you generally do it at a company that is floundering and slowly dying before your eyes. So it is looked down upon. And not only do these Redditors go and buy the stock, one very specific Redditor who was kind of the, I guess you could call mascot behind the movement. Um, mm. And this is a, just in case you're listening to this with like a family member or something, I will say a curse word here. So cover your ears if it's gonna damage you um but his name is deep fucking value is his name now deep fucking value said i'm putting the money where my mouth is and he drops thirty five thousand dollars in gamestop stocks when it was like when it was like i think i think it was like 20 bucks or something like that around this time i uh i'm i'm blanking on the the time but yeah he drops thirty five thousand dollars now this this gentleman is a twitch streamer i will not pretend like i know his market value but whatever he drops thirty five thousand dollars into the stock this rallies up a bunch of other redditors to also buy gamestop stock now the entire kind of idea around this was to basically fuck this hedge fund into the ground because uh something i didn't really specify with the short is they have agreed upon this short. The Redditors find out. The Redditors go buy a bunch of stock to inflate the price. When you agree upon a short, there isn't a max amount of money you can lose. Your potential gains and potential losses are, in theory, infinite. So, using the example we did before, with my GameStop stocks, I said there were going to be $6, and Alex has said there is $4. Mm -hmm. If all of a sudden GameStop stocks go up to $300 a share, which it is currently sitting at, that means Alex still has to buy those stocks, regardless of the price. We agreed that you will buy X amount of shares, yeah, and you will uh, either give the benefit to me or you, whoever won the agreement whoever exercises the short mm -hmm. now the reason it's jumped up so high is because now these people are going to need the stock mm -hmm. to get the short done and they're going to eat billions of dollars they first off have already lost billions of dollars and <laughs> what's funny is they actually got bailed out by another company that was going to help short them and they also lost a lot of money immediately so 
it all comes down to the the scenario we talked about before. I agreed that the stock uh, price wouldn't go down. Alex did. So now Alex has to give me a bunch of game, GameStop stocks that don't exist mm-hmm. because they overshorted. So whenever that contract becomes activated, they're going to have to buy the stocks. They can't buy the stocks because the Redditors bought all the stock and won't mm-hmm. sell it back. Meaning that becomes even more rare for the stocks to be uh, to be bought, so that drives the shares even higher than they are already. When they need to activate this contract, they're like, "I need to pay this off. I need yeah. those stocks." Yeah. So whenever that is exercised or activated, the prices will seemingly go even higher than they already are. The that is the general summary of what is going on in the stock market. One guy said, not one guy, one entity hedge fund said stocks would go down. They didn't. Uh, Redditors found out about this. They bought a lot of the stock. They're holding the stock now, trying to destroy a giant hedge fund and bankrupt them. Whew. I hope I hope I explained that to some degree of understandability. Uh, Alex, I hope you faintly now understand what's going on so you don't have a huge question mark yeah. about the news. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that is essentially what's happening. This is still ongoing. This is recording, like I said, January 29th. This is yeah. still technically ongoing. We don't know if the options happened. We don't know if they executed them. All we know are Redditors are holding their ground. Now, I should have said this at the beginning. Um, what I'm about to say and what will now begin the rest of this podcast, I'm going to be, be very clear about this, is A, not financial advice. I am not a financial supervisor and I am not telling or soliciting advice for you to do what you're running. It's you, you do you. B, I currently own GameStop stock because why not? It was easy money and I will make easy money. Again, not financial advice. I bought way sooner than you will do not listen to me i am not an advisor (laughs) those are two important details i wanted to make very clear for what i'm about to say three you now know the financial i would say uh background to this now this may get political from this point onward i would like to have a conversation with alex so i'm gonna pull some things around from him uh see what what he thinks about this situation being someone who does not care about the stock market but I may get political during this. Alex may get political during it as well. If you don't like that stuff, skip forward till, I don't know, till you think it's over. Alex, if you can do me a favor and keep mm. timestamps, I completely forgot to ask you for that. But if you can keep a timestamp for when we finish this conversation, that'd be nice. Yes. Okay. Disclaimers are done. Now, Alex, you are an outsider to the stock market. You generally stay away from stocks in general you know of them of course but you don't really exercise any caution with them do you have any opinion on any of this you can have no opinion on it of course i'm just curious if you have any other lasting ideas of wow this seems kind of dumb or this seems really smart anything like that it's definitely interesting and it's i'm not gonna lie it seems like the the original Hed, the hedge funds is it? yes hedge the hedge fund are the people who originally started all this they're yeah. called melvin so, capital yeah. i feel like they kind of did it as like oh shit we screwed up this is i'm glad you bring that up this is very i mean you play the game you mm-hmm. you played the game and you overextended and this yeah. i mean i'm not gonna sit here and pretend like really, i'm sad a bunch of billionaires lost I a lot i feel like i mean from all of it from my from my, i understand i feel like that the hedge funds pretty much got too cocky with it and then yep. it, like it just blew up in their faces and now everybody else is like oh pff, i'm diving in on this yeah i mean that's basically what's happening i mean you have celebrities now, tweeting about like, this now now it's gonna take them forever to get that back yeah i mean even if i mean i don't know i yeah i i never got into specifics on what they have or how much mm. money they have but I don't I don't know like what extent of shares they own, but I mean they they for sure have lost I've I know they have lost billions of dollars. So I mean they're they're hurting. 
I don't know if there's any, I mean, I, I think they already tried to get a bailout. Another thing to be clear, a bailout, the their government bailouts exist. They're not asking for a government bailout. A bailout means another company comes and basically bails you out of whatever scenario you got into. I'm pretty sure another company tried to bail them out and immediately lost all of their money too, which is pretty hilarious, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. Now I'm assuming the Reddit, the uh, the Reddit people are still withholding their their shares. So yes, if you go to r slash Wall Street Bets, forewarned, it is very much the internet on there. I think you understand what I mean by that. But just in case you don't, they are very crass on there. So if you are mm -hmm. faint of heart, do not go there. But if you did go there, everyone would be screaming, "Hold your shares!" There, and again, the reason you're holding the shares is because there are things happening called squeezes. That means you squeeze the market at a particular time because the market needs shares to do transactions because someone's trying to buy something. Mm -hmm. And once they're trying to buy it, that inflates the cost because people are trying to buy stock. That means they have to keep putting in money to try and buy stock because no one's selling to them. So it's going to just keep going up and up and up and blah, blah, blah. I'm sure there is a much more sophisticated way of of describing what that is but that is how i understand it now i to finish kind of a thought ahead earlier i won't sit here and pretend like i will feel bad about melvin capital losing a lot of money this is uh, honestly on them and i won't pretend to feel bad now i do i will say i was listening to a podcast today that kind of put in a idea of something I didn't really think of, whereas the hedge fund could have, because the hedge fund basically have clients that the money is from. And the hedge fund, in theory, could be holding someone's pension or some sort of government pension for like a state or something like that. So it could be a negative aspect to that where we could be celebrating and some dude in Arizona's pension is a couple hundred thousands or less or something like that. Mm -hmm. Not saying that's what this is happening, but it gave me a more of a unique outlook on this. B, Melvin Capital, again, I don't feel bad about him. Well, I will feel a tiny bit bad if it turns out like some there is collateral damage from this. Um but but yeah, that's essentially the GameStop stock situation we're looking at. I'm very interested to see where it goes from here. I love that everyone is screaming for regulation right now because uh, a lot of rich people are losing a lot of money. It's very funny to go on CNN, CNBC and see a bunch of old dudes being very pissed off because they lost a lot of money. And it is very funny that when you see some new light come from some of these people, uh, I won't oh, for sure. bring up some specifics, but there are some people who very clearly have a outlook on... Uh, Let's say people less fortunate that they are. These billionaires having a specific outlook on the everyday man like you and I, Alex. It's very interesting how this gentleman put us. Uh, let's look up the interviews. You'll find them. Um, but that's essentially what the situation is. That's a little bit of my thoughts. Alex gave his thoughts at the beginning there. Uh, what an insane time. I'm kind of glad it's happening because it's in reality showing how the stock market is just a it really is just a bunch of numbers and you can change it and upgrade it to however see fits i'll be curious if any laws come into effect i don't think it will but i'll be very curious if any laws happen from this i bet you a lot of people at the end of this are going to be like what's going to happen with gamestop after all this <laughs> i actually had someone ask me that today at work uh uh while i was um at a gamestop let's go let's say that um I was <laughs> I was at a GameStop, let's say that. Um, and someone asked me, like, hey, like, what will happen to GameStop with, like, the stocks up high? And I basically alluded to, like, because GameStop stock is good does not necessarily mean that the company is doing good. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that the company has made any more money, which is funny because you would think that's what it means, but it doesn't. Uh, which is very funny. It, 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 my favorite part of all this is, A, I hope a lot of people are learning. Because I, I feel like a lot of people are scared of the stock market. They'll hear stocks and they immediately go like, oh my god, what is that? Like, that sounds hard. I hope that's a little bit of demystified for a lot of people. 
Um, mm-hmm. I was I was lucky, and my dad helped me with a lot of that stuff, so I was able to understand a little more than I think the average person at my age. Mm-hmm. So I hope it's the barrier behind that is kind of lifted, and they can see a little clearer on what stocks are, what a short is, what does it mean to own a stock, what do you do with a stock, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Hopefully, you know, some people have learned today. B. I hope this shows. No matter how nonsensical the Reddit is, and the Reddit is pretty nonsensical and over the top with what they do, I do hope that this shows how much our problems are not around what we think there are, i.e. the uh, situation that we find with race or sexuality or religion or any of these hot button topics that no one likes to talk about. I hope someone looks at what's happening and thinks for a second and goes, do I really care about this stuff or is it really just about my situation in my class situation specifically? If I go and drive and pick up someone in Detroit in the in the ghetto and then I drive over to someone in Hicksville, Georgia, I can say that because I live here, and I go to Hicksville, Georgia and I pick up, I pick up a, a trailer park boy and I sit them down and they describe their situation to me and what they don't like about the situation. Those are probably polar opposites and political wise. But I think they have a lot in common when they talk specifically about their class and what they want out of it. And then hopefully I, 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 I think I hope a lot of people realize that when you get together, you can do some crazy nonsense like make GameStop stock go up a thousand percent. <laughs> All right, I'm off my soapbox, Alex. Uh, thank you for listening to me spat out nonsense and what I think about all this. Hey, man, go for it. <laughs> you have to get it out somehow. I got to get it out somehow. It's it's like it's like when you're full and you need to poop, right? Okay. okay. And you just got to go. Mm-hmm. And you just release it. And then you, you feel like a new man, mm, right? I got you. Yeah, yeah. You understand this? I do. I do. I do understand do you the underst- of the feces. The, thank God. Okay. Thank God. Now, that was a incredibly serious topic. I will now go into something not serious, literally at all. There's a new Kotar in development. This was kind of leaked. Wait. There's a new what? Kotar. This is Knights of the Old oh. Republic, Star gotcha. Wars. Uh, this you said, I think you said, I think you said go karts. Like, uh, there's go karts coming. <laughs> they're coming, and they're coming fast. Alex, run! <laughs> <laughs> they, gotta go fast. they gotta go fast, Alex. So, Star Wars: The Old Republic is reportedly in the works. It is not by EA and Bioware. This is from several sources, so I'm not going to specifically mm. name somebody. I've seen this everywhere, uh, so I don't think anyone specifically has talked about this. But I think the most interesting thing, I honestly don't think it's very surprising that we're getting a new Kotar at all. I think this was guaranteed to happen once they announced Lucasfilm Games. Oh yeah, for sure. The most surprising thing is they did not get Bioware or EA to develop it. Which, in my opinion, sad to say, makes me more excited for the game. What do you think? I mean, I do. um, EA, no. I mean, they've had their chance and they blew it. Um... By Bioware, though, I mean they usually make really good things, so I'm interested to see who they go with. I I'm glad it's not Bioware for a few things. A. Hopefully they're not slipping. All right, because they've been slipping. Mass Effect and Drama and Anthem. So hopefully they don't they don't they're not starting to slip. I think there's still good talent there, and I think there's still good in that studio. They can bring us back with uh, Dragon Age. 4. Th- they can, and I hope they do. I hope I am. I hope I look back and I like Jesus. I can't believe I said Bioware wasn't good. They're phenomenal with Dragon Age Four, but mm. Alex, if they did a develop Kortar, they're already busy with Dragon Age Four in the new Mass Effect game, so they have zero time for this. So I'm gl- almost glad that they're going somewhere else to try and get the uh, to try and actually get this going. Because we're not seeing this for, I mean, probably, what, four or five years? So, I mean, yeah. it, I'm glad they're starting now rather than wait for Bioware to be free. They're getting, they're getting ideas. Because they got to get through two games. Now, what do you... 
what do you think this is? If you had to really guess, do you think it's a complete reboot? I know that um, they're doing the High Republic. Okay. Have you heard about this? No, I have not. So High Republic, if I'm not mistaken, is their new... How, what would you call it? A universe, I guess? It's basically okay. to describe, like, way before... Hold on. I think it says it right here. Around two... Between... So it's the golden age of the Jedi. Mm -hmm. And none of this makes any sense to me. So I, I don't want to just be like, oh, it's between 300 BBY and 82 BBY, of course. <laughs> what does any the of this mean? Republic, the High Republic era is set 200 years before the events of Skywalker. Thank, thank you. That is what I was looking for, and I could not and find that. And it's 800 years after the fall of the Old Republic. Okay. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, so the High Republic is after the Old Republic. Okay, not confusing at all. Well, Old Republic, yeah, it's weird, yeah. Yeah, but okay, cool. We're getting a new whatever that is. I think they're getting comics and like cartoons and stuff. So mm -hmm. like, there, it's a new whole new universe that they're going to try and hopefully not mess up. Yeah, the books are coming out this year. That's right. I knew there was a book. I, yeah, I wasn't two books. Two books. Okay. This is Jesus. Light of the Jedi, Light of the Jedi, the High Republic, and the High Republic: A Test of Courage. They come out oh it's already out it says january 5th 2021 so they're shooting they're out already i wonder if they're trying to test the waters of like the universe mm -hmm. like set the universe up a tiny bit and then make a movie or oh, something because sure. yeah. I, I know they're making a cartoon i'm pretty sure i think they announced that okay good swore they did i don't know there's so much coming out for star wars How, did you play any of the other kotars um i played just in case people don't know, there were two games, both I made think, by yeah, Lucasfilm. Two. Uh, sorry, both made by Bioware. Uh, that one was um, one, uh, Knights of the Old Republic Run on the original Xbox, and of course Knights of the Old Republic Two that was also on the original Xbox. Um, I think I played a little bit of two, but I never actually like beat them or anything. I I literally turned on I think two on my Xbox One when it came out just mm -hmm. to see, yep. and I was like, oh, this is cool, and I immediately turned it off. So. I have no affinity for this. It looks dope. Hopefully, the game is good whenever it comes out. Man, I'm just just give me, uh, just 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 give me Night of the Old, Re uh, just give me the Old Republic on console, okay? Yeah, the, the yeah. Arcade, I'll say it too. MMO. I'll say it too. Release the MMO. I I I don't. I assume they're never going to do this. They. They, me because they I'm just dying want... to go back to that game and same I just here. can't go because I don't have a computer to run it. Yeah, same here. I, we're never seeing that game again. But hopefully one day they, I don't know, make one again, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> also, to cover this very quickly. <laughs> so, if you remember, Alex, last week we released mm -hmm. an Easy Cheevers Gaming podcast. Okay. Headline of the show Xbox increases gold pricing barely 24 hours later after posting mm -hmm. that episode xbox announces that they are not increasing the price they are keeping the exact same pricing model they have with one caveat of free-to-play games now do not require gold which is crazy that they should have done that already that's literally never been a thing i love that uh people thought it was a thing too which is funny which that's pretty funny we're like wait is that not it? like people on playstation or pc were like wait you still had to buy gold <laughs> and i was like yeah you did to play like fortnite and stuff yeah you did but they released it now you're good i guess i assume that has already come effect i have not seen evidence to the contrary because they announced that it was happening so it should have already happened so Yay. I'm glad that we got an episode out that was immediately worthless after 24 hours. But we did still say some substantial stuff that uh, yeah, yeah, made, that sure. made sense. And, and, it's still, and I think it still rings fairly well with, um, with the audience. So, moving on. Your PlayStation Plus for next month, Alex. Man. It is a lineup. So we have Destruction All-Stars. Which is a new game. Yeah, which is a new game, and that's coming out for your PS5. So that's your PS5 uh, like title. title for the month, I guess. 
Control Ultimate Edition and Concrete Genie. Now, first off, Concrete Genie, that's dope. I've been wanting to play that. Yes. Glad I didn't Same. buy it because now I'm just getting it for free. Yep, I'm dying to play that game. Control Ultimate Edition specifically will be out PS4 and PS5. So, in I mean, really, you're getting two PS5 games already. Yeah, that's crazy. That's so you get the ultimate edition. So that doesn't the ultimate edition come with the DLC or no? Uh, yeah, no, it it comes. Yeah, you're getting the DLC with it. That's crazy. Yes. Uh oh, and also on the PS5 console, you can use the game's game help feature for hints and walkthroughs to help you solve puzzles and overcome challenges as you explore the oldest house. This is of course all via the PlayStation blog, where all of the PlayStation news comes from. Um, and of course, if you didn't know, it is of course made by Remedy. They are known for Max Payne and Alan Wake from back mm. in the day. Very, Can't very. The DLC. Uh, and first off, I got a problem with who is this? Adam Mitchell, senior manager of game services content at Sony Interactive Entertainment. Do you uh, hear me? I have an issue with you. Do you know why? You go with. Master supernatural abilities and with a shape shifting sidearm in this third person action issue from Remedy Entertainment. In parentheses, we have Max Payne and Alan Wake. How dare you, sir, not bring up Quantum Break in those three games? I will not let Quantum Break be forgotten. First off, phenomenal game that came out near the launch window of the Xbox. Two. It had very, very uncomfortable <laughs> scenes where it became a TV show if, for some reason. But that was cool at the time. Looking back on it, it's probably not as cool as I remember it. But it was dope at the time. Three, I was a superhero. And we never get superhero games. Yeah. And, I mean, it, it just... It, if, to me, I, I mean, I enjoyed that game. It was, it was fun. That's all you got with Quantum Break, Alex? How dare you? That We thought... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's in the game, and all you got was it was good. It's a great game, Alex. I don't know why you're suddenly anti Quantum Break, but I don't like this, Alex. I mean, I want my old one back. He's gone, ladies and gentlemen. He finally left. He finally left. Hello? There we go. There you go. For some reason, my mic just like stopped working. Alex disappeared from us. He left. He understood that I didn't like him anymore because he didn't like Quantum Break. So he left me. Dude, I do like Quantum Break. Yeah, you, you're 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 awfully mellow on it now. It's man. I'm sorry. It's that tiredness kicking in. Yeah, it sounds like it. It sounds like it. And to be honest, Quantum Break deserves better than you. I'm tired, I'm, I'm tired, man. I'm tired. Right. Well, you know what? You know what? Since you're so tired, I guess. We'll cut it here. We, we haven't gone too long this episode because we did have a serious topic. It hasn't been crazy news-wise. And we're actually going to have a couple episodes spread out this week. We're going to have a few special episodes that I feel like that the Achievers are going to love. One episode we got coming out very soon, Alex, is none other than our... Alex, what is it? It's a spoiler cast. Spoilers. For Persona 5 Royal and... None other than the Bloodborne. That's right. I and Alex have finished Bloodborne, and we are going to sit down and talk about it. What we liked, what we didn't like, what scared the shit out of us the most. Spoilers. It might be spiders for Alex because he doesn't like those. What is it? I said what scared us the most, and it'd probably be spiders for you. Oh, my God. Why? Why? every souls game there's always a spider boss and it's it always. kills me because i'm always trying to figure out I'm like okay what what did they do with the spider this time <laughs> not, <I'm, laughs> what did they lie. do with the spider this time yeah not gonna lie um you know what i'll save it I'll oh save it. you're not getting it for free here ladies and gentlemen no you're gonna have to go click over on youtube.com slash easy achievers you can't you can't put that in so just search easy achievers they don't like us and they didn't want to give us the url link yet but search easy achievers no. go and click on our account scroll down until you see our spoiler cast which should be live by tuesday maybe if we have the time if not wednesday now what were you saying alex i was gonna say we and now we might have platinumed it might not have you have to fit you'd have to listen to figure it out did i not get a single trophy the whole playthrough you might be asking yourself how is that possible 
it isn't. But I like to mm-hmm. add some speculation into uh, my nonsense that comes out of my mouth. Mm-hmm. Two episode, our second spoiler cast that will be live. Maybe next week. Might be. Next, it might be the week after. Who knows? It will be the Persona Five Royal spoiler cast. As Alex finally beat Persona Five Royal, he finally figured out he has good taste in video games and went and played wow. Persona Five Royal. He wow. he proved himself nary a quitter. Look, I never said I didn't like the game. Yeah, because you're known for not playing games you like. Yeah, that's that's what you sound yeah, like. But- no, you, you, you know, you loved it so much, you stopped playing it. That's how much you loved it, Alex. You you loved it so much, Alex, that you're like, you know what I'm going to do with this game? Sit it down for a year. <laughs> That's how you know I really like a game. <laughs> Persona 5 release date. How about that? Let's see. Let's see. I beat it within like a month. I had a problem. Let's see. Persona 5 release date was 2016 what about- September. What the company? Let's see. What September, else came out? September 2016 game releases. Let's see. Let's let's see what pops up because I feel like I was busy. <sighs> He's doing this, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, oh, I, I, I know. Sure I know they're asking themselves, "Is this really happening?" Yes. Yes. I am with you in experiencing what is going on right now, and I'm as I baffled am, as you are. This man I'm is trying to justify not playing Persona 5 Royal. How dare I'm he? Mm-hmm. Yep, I, yep. I like to think 10% of the audience is like, what the fuck is this game? What? And then they're going to Google it and be even more confused, which I, I love it. Like, If you Google that game and read the description, you're like, what? No, that doesn't sound like a fun time at all. All right, let's see. Now... Could we have been playing something from August, or should we probably finish that by now? Let's see. What? What is the kind of question is that? Did are we playing what? games from August? No, they're dead it, by that time. Well, sometimes it takes like a month to beat the games. Yeah, that's then it's September. <laughs> mm, Batman: The Telltale Series. Oh my! Time Shock of the Collection. Oh my God! Wait, what? Uh, let's see. This did not come out with Roy. Are you looking for? Are you looking at Persona Five? Persona Five, the original. That's the one that I did not play. That that's right, but like you didn't, you never, you didn't play Royal when it came out either. So yeah, because I mean, I was like, I honestly, I can't I believe I'm still letting this happen. I am in control of the episode. Thank you so much for stopping by. We love you. Remember, come back every single Friday for your brand new Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, so and of course, you can go over for Tuesday. Now. Tuesday's spoiler cast, maybe on Wednesday. Don't quote me. That depends on the time frame. Now, remember, like, subscribe, share if you like us with that one friend that you swear to God he's eating his pencil, but you can't tell because it gets shorter by way too much every time you look him. And it's got the weird teeth marks on the edges, so either he's chewing on it really hard or he's taking tiny bites of it. It's weird. You're concerned, but you don't want to bring it up with anyone else because because you don't want to hurt his feelings if he finds out you're talking about shares with that guy also just go like another video go do something all right if you like us even more than that though you can give us a dollar over on patreon.com slash easy achievers give us a buck that's going to help us not only grow not only succeed in our dreams that is also going to help us talk to you directly you can dm us right on there click 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 you talk to us straight through that patreon.com slash easy achievers we'll talk to you directly you give us your question your comments your concerns your thoughts and or ideas we'll rip them off we promise let's not forget alex hates persona 5 royal and you'll only have to go watch the spoiler cast to really know how much he hates it but before then look there was stuff we were playing don't forget go achieve there was there was you're gonna miss it you better say it, it was call of duty Modern you Warfare. better say it i'm OG. about to click it 